let the peace, love, and blessings of Jehovah God and His Christ be upon the entire world. In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Signs of the last days. Bible class lecture delivered to the entire world by the Holy Spirit of Truth Leader Olumba Olumba Obu, the supernatural teacher. Bible text of this course, Luke chapter 21, verses 1 to 38. And he looked up and saw the rich men casting their gifts into the treasury. And he saw also a certain poor widow casting in thither two mites. And he said, Of a truth I say unto you, that this poor widow had cast in more than they all. For all these have of their abundance cast in unto the offerings of God. But she of her penury had cast in all the living that she had. And as some spake of the temple, how it was adorned with goodly stones and gifts, he said, As for these things which ye behold, the days will come in the which that there shall not be left one stone upon another that shall not be thrown down. And they asked him, saying, Master, but whence shall these things be? And what sign will there be when these things shall come to pass? And he said, Take heed that ye be not deceived, for many shall come in my name, saying, I am Christ. And the time draweth near. Go ye not therefore after them, but when ye shall hear of wars and commotions, be not terrified, for these things must first come to pass, but the end is not by and by. Then said he unto them, Nation shall rise against nation, and kingdom against kingdom, and great earthquakes shall be in diverse places, and famines, and pestilences and fearful sights and great signs shall there be from heaven but before all these they shall lay their hands on you and persecute you delivering you up to the synagogues and into prisons being brought before kings and rulers for my name's sake and it shall Turn to you for a testimony. Settle it therefore in your hearts not to meditate before what ye shall answer. For I will give you a mouth and wisdom which all your adversaries shall not be able to gain faith or resist. And ye shall be betrayed both by parents and brethren and kinsfolk, and friends, and some of you shall they cause to be put to death, and ye shall be hated of all men for my name's sake. But there shall not be an hair of your head a perish. In your patience possess ye your soul. And when ye shall see Jerusalem come past, with armies, then know that the desolation thereof is nigh. Then let them which are in Judea flee to the mountains, and let them which are in the midst of it depart out, and let not them that are in the countries enter therein too. For these be the days of vengeance that all things which are written may be fulfilled. 
But woe unto them that are with child, and to them that give suck in those days. For there shall be great distress in the land, and wrath upon this people, and they shall fall by the edge of the sword, and shall be led away captive into all nations, and Jerusalem shall be trodden down of the Gentiles, until the times of the Gentiles be fulfilled, and there shall be signs in the sun, and in the moon, and in the stars, and upon the earth, distress of nations, with perplexity, the sea and the waves roaring, men's hearts failing them for fear, and for looking after those things which are coming on the earth, for the powers of heaven shall be shaken, and then shall they see the Son of Man coming in a cloud with power and great glory. And when these things begin to come to pass, then look up and lift up your heads for your redemption right now. And he spake to them a parable. Behold, if a tree and all the trees, when they now shoot forth, ye see and know of your own selves that summer is now nigh at hand. So, likewise ye, when ye see this thing come to pass, know ye that the kingdom of God is nigh and at hand. Verily I say unto you, this generation shall not pass away till all be fulfilled. Heaven and earth shall pass away, but my word shall not pass away. And take heed to yourselves, lest at any time your hearts be overcharged with surfeiting and drunkenness and cares of this life, and so that they come upon you unawares, for as a snare shall it come on all them that dwell on the face of the whole earth. Watch ye therefore, and pray always, that ye may be accounted worthy to escape all these things that shall come to pass, and to stand before the Son of Man. And in the daytime he was teaching in the temple, and at night he went out and abode in the mount that is called the Mount of Olives. And all the people came early in the morning to him in the temple for to hear him. What God needs. Quote, show appreciation towards what God has done because God requires only that from mankind. This is neither the time for jokes nor the time for us to follow the dictates of our evil thoughts. Salvation only comes from repentance. This is not the time to play. This era had been predicted and what we See, now is the fulfillment of the scriptures. Now you have seen this time and what it has come with. Your refusal to change for good will only facilitate your doom, which is impending. If you compare the happenings in the world with the prophecy of Luke chapter 21 verses 3 to 10, you would realize that this is that this is that generation that our Lord Jesus Christ talked about. Luke chapter 21 verse 3 to 10 reads, And he said, Of a truth, I say unto you, that this poor widow are casting more than they all, for all these have of their abundance cast in unto the offerings of God, but she of her penury are casting all the living that she had, and as some speak of the temple, how it was adorned with goodly stones and gifts, he said, As for these things which ye behold, 
the days will come in the which there shall not be left one stone upon another that shall not be thrown down. And they ask him, saying, Master, but when shall these things be? And what shall what sign will there be when these things shall come to pass? And he said, Take heed that ye be not deceived, for many shall come in my name, saying, I am Christ. And the time draweth near. Go ye not therefore after them, but when ye shall hear of wars and commotion, be not terrified, for these things must first come to pass, but the end is not by and by. Then said he unto them, Nation shall rise against nation, and kingdom against kingdom. You may ask why these things should up now. The answer is simple, so that you may know yourself and know also that we are in the last days. These signs are warnings for you to forsake sin and be saved. But if you continue to wallow in sinfulness, you would have yourself to blame because you will surely taste of the cup of the wrath of God with the world. Every word of God must come to fulfillment. Brethren, you have seen the fulfillment of Luke chapter 21 verses 19 to 21 in the world, but you have not reasoned out why these things are happening. Luke 21 Verses 19-21 says, In your patience possess ye your souls, and when ye shall see Jerusalem come past with armies, then know that the desolation thereof is nigh. Then let them which are in Judea flee to the mountains, and let them which are in the midst of it depart out, and let not them that are in the countries enter therein too. It is time you start running out of such situation as directed by the scripture. God is a powerful God. Sometimes when God makes pronouncements, people laugh at him and say, When these things come to pass, when will these things come to pass? Truly I tell you that every word of God must come to manifestation before the end. When these things shall come to pass, there will be great suffering and tribulation. A fallacy. Some people claim that their problems are from their enemies, from, their, from witches and wizards and other elementary spirits. It is written in the scriptures that God does not want anybody to perish God allows these things to happen so that you may not perish. It is given that man should pass through the shops of the forest, but man should not easily give up to any situation that appears difficult. God has equipped man to be able to govern himself and be a master of everything in the world. You have been given the understanding of these things. If these things should take you unaware, how would you explain the happenings in the world to others when you are asked? The final preparation. Rise up now. Wake up from your slumber. Flee from sinfulness and embrace righteousness. Praise God and do only those things that would glorify Him. The happenings in the world are designed to enhance man's love for righteousness. These things are designed to widen the gap between righteousness and sinfulness. Now let us consider the reading of Luke chapter 21. Verse 27. What have you done to get yourself out of the word set aside for God? He says, And then shall they see the Son of Man coming in the cloud with power and great glory. Will you be honest or will you serve 
any purpose. If tomorrow you say, oh, I did not hear. It has been given to those who have ears to hear and do something to save their lives from the impending doom of the world. Love one another, abhor killing, and shy away from any manner of sin. Help the needy, practice the injunctions of God, and only do to others what you would love others to do to you. By the time you do this, nothing can stand between you and salvation. Those who refuse to repent are perished already. Who is responsible for these happenings? It is wrong to attribute what you can see in the world today to any other thing, any other forces are being except God. What is happening in the world is a manifestation of the word of God. All those things happen only to the glory of God. If we consider Luke 21 verses 21 to 31, we realize that all things are ushers of the kingdom of God. It says, And when he shall see Jerusalem come past with armies, then know that the desolation is nigh. Then let them which are in Judea flee to the mountains, and let them which are in the midst of it depart out, and let not them that are in the countries enter therein too, for these be the days of vengeance, that all things which are written may be fulfilled. But woe unto them that are with child, and to them that gave suck in those days, for there shall be great distress in the land, and wrath upon the people, and they shall fall by the edge of the sword, and shall be led away captive into all nations, and Jerusalem shall be trodden down of the Gentiles, until the time the Gentiles be fulfilled, and there shall be signs in the sun, and in the moon, and in the stars, and upon the earth, distress of nations with perplexity, the sea and the wave roaring, men's hearts failing them for fear, and for looking after those things which are coming on the earth. For the powers of heaven shall be shaken, and then shall they see the Son of Man coming in a cloud with power and great glory. And when these, these things begin to come to pass, then look up and lift up your heads for your redemption draw it nigh. And he spake to them a parable, Behold the fig tree and all the leaves and all the trees, when they now shoot forth ye see and know of your own self that summer is now nigh at hand. So likewise when ye see these things come to pass, know that the kingdom of God is nigh at hand. Brethren, therefore, if what has happened constitutes a problem to you, then God is the cause of your problem. In Luke chapter 21, verses 30 to 36, ponder over it. Do you still need to be told what the kingdom of God is? Do you still need to be told that the kingdom of God is has come? Luke 21 verse 36 reads, When they now shoot forth, ye see and know of your own self that summer is now nigh at hand. So likewise ye, when ye see this thing come to pass, know ye that the kingdom of God is nigh at hand. Verily I say unto you, this generation shall not pass away, till all be fulfilled. Heaven and earth shall pass away, but my word shall not pass away. And take it to yourself, lest at any time your hearts be overcharged with surfeiting and drunkenness and cares of this life, and so that they come upon you unawares, far as a snare. Shall it come on all them that dwell on the face of the whole earth, which ye therefore 
Watch ye therefore and pray always that ye may be accounted worthy to escape all these things that shall come to pass and to stand before the Son of Man. Brethren, a word is enough for the wise. Let he who has ears to hear, hear what the Spirit has imparted to the churches. May the Lord bless his holy teachings. Amen. End of quote. Peace in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Thank you, Father.